So superstar DJ remixer producer Junior Sanchez is in town working with my buddy Chin and they're working on a little something for Break the Beat as well. I got to help him tighten up a mix for a deadline the other day, kind of pumped about that and uh, he's just a really cool guy so I asked him if he would sit down or go for a walk or whatever it might be and share his world with us a little bit. So we're going to go do that now. So hey man, what's up? Thank How you for you? hanging out. Thank so, you. Junior Sanchez, superstar, remixer, producer, DJ, you've been a label executive, you've been an a and you've seen this industry from, let's say, all sides. Yeah, a little bit from every, every perspective. Okay, so what does your world look like now? What are you doing? What are you into? What's your focus? Um, focused on creating great, honest content, songs. I'm at a point in my life where I'm kind of reinvigorated of just being honest with the music again. Right, I love it. I'm in the same place. I'm trying to find, <clears throat> you gotta feed your soul with it. Yeah. And that's, that's why we started in the first place. I was lucky enough to work on something a little bit with you the other day, mm. and it really occurred to me, because of course I've heard lots of your work, but it really occurred to me how you really have a thing that sounds like you. For someone who's just coming up, how do you suggest they go about creating that for themselves? I think it's, it takes time. Uh, producers need to kind of really figure out their musical DNA or their musical sound print, as I like to say, and like really what sets them aside from everyone else. Everyone's making music, everyone's making beats, everyone's either using Fruity Loops or right. Reason or Logic or... So A, understanding your DAWs, you intimately know your program. And different tools are good for different things, but, yeah. but whatever you got, dial that in. Dial right? it in, and then use that in a way that is really defines who you are. Don't try to mimic, fi like find yourself. And, and hence, while you do that, you will discover a sound that's primarily yours. Todd Edward, Timberland, Mutt Lang, Trevor Horn, or even longer, Daft Punk, for example, even Skrillex. People have a definitive sound because they work on their craft and put in the time and figure out themselves. That's it. I feel like people who don't compromise who they are don't lose their path. And I'm not saying they have to stay in the same place, but follow their creative muse, win. Yeah. Because artists that try and switch lanes because something's popular, I think have trouble. Yeah. <clears throat> people people have done that. There was a time where that happened to me. There was a time where pre-EDM, that shift, I was making a lot of rock records and I wanted to come back into the space. I was doing a lot of indie rock, so I was working with like people like uh, Block Party and The Bravery and remixing all this stuff. At that point in my life, I couldn't partition. Like my brain, uh, when, when, yeah. when I was involved in a, in a music, I would immerse myself into it. So I would just completely dive in and kind of forget what was going on. So I had to ask some people that were peers of mine, say, what's, what's, pop? what's going on today? What's happening? Cause you get lost and yeah. for the first time in my life i needed some help of like some sort of guidance like but credit to you for knowing that and asking for it yeah because i think it's easy to get so in your own bubble that you don't know when you lost you become irrelevant yeah and i think that that ha anybody who's been in this business long enough has gone through that process because if you stay in the same place you eventually become irrelevant yeah and you have to reinvent yourself and you can't be too proud to to, to ask for help or ask questions and you or, know what it's so yeah. fun when when when, when you, you do when you do yeah. I, I think collaboration is the key to unlocking any kind of block yeah i think one of the biggest growths in my life and everyone should go through this and i think that it's one of the biggest hindrance in any artist or any person it, it, it's just ego let go you yeah. know once you honestly let go of that i mean it's endless what you can achieve and what you can do because your ego will just hold you down amen remixing you're well known for that being able to take something and give it a completely different life how do you start that uh when i really first started diving into major label remix for my first one was i think it was malia one in a million. Oh really yeah um back then i would be like you know really selective um now i'm still selective but i'm honest with it i'm going okay is there anything i can do to this song that i can really enhance and make it not better, but make it different. Yes. Sometimes when a song is just too good, I can't touch it because I don't know what to do. Most of the time, I'll, I'll hear a record and I'll try now more than ever, if it's especially more pop leaning or uh, more major label leaning remixes, I will incorporate the sound of what they have in the original into the remix. I used to just make a remix and basically make a whole new track and it'd be nothing resembled the actual right. original at all. But your perspective on that has shifted it's a little? It's shifted, yeah. 
pop stars. Like I just did Ariana Grande last year. Yeah. And yeah, I remixed it. it was, it's a different sounding, but the integrity of the original is in there. Gear. My message to people is whatever you have now, start. How much does gear matter? I would say now, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Um, it used to matter. I think, you know, I remember when synth plugins first started coming out, I would not, I would just wouldn't go near them. Yeah. You know, because I had, I collected a vast rate of synths and I'm like, it's, it, they weren't as good. Yeah, it just was, the, te the technology wasn't there yet. Right. But today, there's nothing that a computer can't do. It's at the kid's disposal, so there's no excuses. These kids can do whatever they want. You don't need every plugin. I make a lot of records completely in the box. I don't use the 300 plugins that I have. I end up using 15 of them Me half too. the time. A lot of times I'll use stock plugins that come directly with the doll that I'm using. Which are great. Which, yeah, at the end of the day, a delay is a delay. A reverb is a reverb. I mean, yes, there's different nuances. If, you, if you're looking for the essence of a reverb, just put on a reverb and use it. Musical but, um, creativity wins yeah. every time. 100%. Last thing, you're just starting out, you're getting into the game. What's the one thing that up and comers don't realize that they've got to do to move forward and create a career? Um, it's funny, I just had a conversation about this. I think kids or just people, artists in general, need to, should, I don't, I don't want to say need, I don't want to tell anyone ever what to do. They should think about, stop looking at this as, um, immediate success like I think yeah. social media has made it where everything is like everything's in a bunch so quickly they want to be successful quickly because they want they see certain things in a, in a different perspective whether it be DJs on planes or in hotels and model girlfriends this and that the other put in the time do it because you love it right figure yourself out understand why you're doing this um, because it ain't for everybody no and, you know so you and I are on airplanes a lot yeah <laughs> and, yeah and, and that's cool but it's it's not but it's, it is and it's not you know right. it, 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 everything gets old no matter what you do no right. matter what type of job you have you could be the ceo of a company you could be a porn star that has sex every day you it get every, everything gets tiring and old no matter there is not one perfect job i can attest to myself i got into it because i love it yeah if you're looking for for to come into the music business and say oh, oh i want to i want to be successful then that's not the right mindset you got to come into this because you love making music yeah. you love the craft you love the art and you want to really do this to satiate your art and your soul and then things will start to happen the more time you put into something it's going to happen if not if you're if you're quickly coming into this because you want a quick success just then you're not you're not doing it for the right reasons anyway and it's probably not going off pretty much that's the best advice i can give any young artist let's leave it there that's perfect man thank you so much for your time thanks for sharing with everybody here thank you dude man. i really appreciate it yeah. thank you so Super much cool. Okay, well, why don't we do something we love? <laughs> Make some records. See you guys later. Peace.